All right, folks, today we're going to take a look at my Shoe & Weeble S setup with my GH5. And we're going to take a look at what lenses I use, what things I have on this gimbal. And I have it in all of my videos, but I haven't talked about the things that I have on this gimbal together with my GH5 in a dedicated video. And I get this question on time to time on what I use and what lenses I have and so on. So let me walk you through my, my full Shoe & Weeble S GH5 setup. Here we go. All right, so if you have a Shoe & Weeble S, the first thing you're gonna do is to upgrade it to the 1.96 firmware if you haven't done that. I made a video about it last week, so if you haven't seen that, jump back one video and see that. I'll also link it in the description and right here so you can watch that. But first, let's take a look at my GH5 and some of the things that I have. First off, this is the backpack that I carry on a daily basis. I've made a full video about this, this backpack and my production backpack. There's two different packs that I use, but today we're gonna take a look at my daily setup, the things that I carry with me when I go home from this office. So I use this backpack, the, the douche bag, the backpack pro it's called. In that I have my drone and other stuff, but I have with me two lenses for the setup. The main lens that I use is this one, the Leica 10 to 25 millimeter lens. This one is just great. If you don't have it and you have some money to, to spend, buy this lens. You get a, a nifty 50 and a 20 millimeter lens in one and it is just great. I use this for sports, weddings, and just everyday use because the range of this lens is just amazing. It is great for indoor shoot. It goes down to 1.7 in aperture. Just amazing lens. So this is the main lens that I have with me in my back. Goes on this gimbal a lot. If you take my GH5 of the gimbal, this is the camera. If you have a GH5, you're familiar with it. I have the 8 to 18 millimeter lens on, which is great for wide angle shots, real estate and stuff like that. But it is also really good for vlogging because it is a wide angle. So this I use for vlogging and it sits on my camera most of the time when I'm not using it. I have some Peak Design straps here on the side. I really never use it anymore, but they're still there if I needed it. In the bottom of the camera, I have the quick release plate, and the quick release plate sits on the on the gimbal right here. And this is a Kaiser quick release plate, and it can be a bit hard to get hold of because I don't think they make them anymore. But if you want a quick release plate on your gimbal, you can grab any one Manfrotto, or there's a lot of them out there. But I will link this one in the description if you're interested. All right, so that is kind of the main thing, the camera and the quick release plate. There we go. Let's power up the gimbal and see what I got on here. So here is the gimbal and I have two handles. I have the top handle here with the quick release plate. There we go. And then I have the handle down here. And I have two handles because I do not want to switch between them when I'm shooting. I just want to be able to go down in the low mode if I need to do that. On the side here, I have one of the most important things when we're talking gimbals, an extra grip, because you want that dual handle grip when you're shooting. So I have this A gimbal gear grip down here. Shuin also makes one, but I find this one better because it's a bit uh, shorter, so don't interfere with the gimbal or anything. I can mount a lot of things on this, and it's just nice to hold. So. This is the A gimbal gear and I will link it in the description as well if you're interested. That is kind of what I have on here for everyday use. Then I have some accessories that I use for production work and that is the small rig um, NATO rail here on the side for my monitor. And for that I have right here, I have the small HD monitor, great little monitor, five, five inch. And then I have the small rig field mount which goes on the side. So these two combined, uh, I have a great uh, monitor setup. I mostly use the monitor for low angle shots, but this one just pops on here. 
There we go. And then I have a dedicated monitor for the low angle shots. I made a full video about the monitor. You can go back and watch that. All right, folks, that is kind of it. My GH5 and Shu and Weevil S setup. Next week, I will show you how I pack my backpack, what I put into it for a daily basis use, not production stuff, just daily basis. And if you got any questions about any of these things or the Weevil S, you can just put it down in the comments and I will answer as good as I can. And if you are new here, remember to subscribe because it helps me build this channel. It is highly appreciated. And yeah, if you didn't see my last video about the firmware update, go back and watch that. It is right here. If you consider buying a Weeble S or a GH5, I can highly recommend it because they are two things that goes great hand in hand. That is it. If you can, go out and shoot some dope videos, but first of all, stay safe. That is so important. That's it, guys. See you next time. Bye.